I've used the Microsoft Designer Compact keyboard for about 6 months now, and I discovered a few more hidden features since I made my last two videos on them. One of the greatest features I discovered is that every single button on this Microsoft number pad can be customized. And this is what I've done. I'll show you in details how to do this later in the video. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. Over the last six months, I've been using this Microsoft keyboard and number pad on my desktop computer while I use my Logitech K780 keyboard and M720 triathlon mouse on the other desk to switch between my two laptops. I find it really challenging making this video because it's difficult to compare Logitech and Microsoft keyboard systems. They are inherently designed very differently and are both good in their own ways. In terms of physical typing experience, both Microsoft keyboard and number pad and the Logitech K780 keys are very nice to type on and the tactile feelings is about the same. I can frequently swap between the two keyboards and type using my muscle memory without consciously adjusting. They both connect and switch between multiple devices well. The only main difference is that Logitech has dedicated device buttons for each device while Microsoft only has one device toggle switch button. What I like about Microsoft is the detachability of the number pad, so I can save desk space and use the number pad wherever I want. I bought the keyboard and number pad separately by the way, if you haven't watched my previous videos. Oh, and with the Microsoft keyboard, I can confirm I'm using the same batteries that came out of the box after 6 months of daily use, and they are still going strong. Microsoft claims these 4 button cells battery can last up to 36 months. Ok, let's move on to the software of the Microsoft and Logitech keyboards. With the price we pay for these keyboards, we are not only paying for the keyboard hardware, but also the software that comes with it. One of the key features that made me keep coming back to use Logitech Keyboard is the Logitech Flow. It allows me to seamlessly switch between two computers. That's why I'm using the Logitech Flow on my right desk, where I have both my work and personal laptops. Microsoft Keyboard does not have this Logitech Flow feature. Instead, we need to manually switch between computers. The other thing I noticed is that Logitech kept advancing their software. They are working on a new version of Logitech Option app called Logitech Option Plus for their next generation devices. There are only 4 buttons on the Logitech K780 that are configurable, and these are the entries we can configure, which is not many compared to the list of entries we get to configure on the Microsoft keyboard. I'll leave the list of entries in the description down below for your reference. If we choose to, Logitech also allows us to configure settings specific to each application. So, with the Microsoft Designer Compact Keyboard and Number Pad, we need to install the Microsoft Mouse and Keyboard Center applications to configure its keys. With this app, I realized the version that I downloaded is exactly the same version I've downloaded 6 months ago. Which tells me, Microsoft is not actively improving their keyboard app. This is unlike Logitech where they constantly enhance and improve their Logitech Options app and even developing the new Option Plus version. I have to say, the UI of the Microsoft app is not as nice and intuitive as the Logitech Option app. But don't be deceived by its poor UI design, it's actually quite capable. For example, on the Microsoft Designer Compact keyboard, we can flip the function keys between pressing the function key to get the F1 to F12 functions or the hot keys. And in terms of configurable buttons, only 4 function buttons on the keyboard can be configured, similar to the Logitech K780. 
However, look at this long list of entries we can configure. Refer to this full list in the description down below. And just like Logitech options, we can also configure settings specific for each application. We can even create macros if we want to. For those advanced users watching this, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think these macro options can be done on the Logitech Option app. There is also this Smart Switch feature where we can switch both the keyboard and mouse over to another Windows computer simply by switching either the keyboard or the number pad. Let me show you a demo. Right now, both the keyboard and number pad are connected to my desktop computer on the left. I only have to switch device by selecting on the number pad. And both the number pad and keyboard are switched over to my laptop computer on the right. However, I do find this to be quite a hit and miss, and too unreliable to the extent I won't be bothered using this smart switch feature. Furthermore, this smart switch feature can only work across two Windows computers, unlike Logitech Flow, which works across Mac and Windows computers. This is the reason why, when it comes to seamless device switching, Logitech is still my choice. Having said that, this is what I really like about Microsoft. All the keys in the entire number pad are reconfigurable. So this is how I configured it. I use this number pad as a number pad on my desktop computer on my left desk. And when I connect it to my laptops on my right desk, it becomes a Windows desktop navigation pad. I configured number four and six to allow me to snap the current windows to the left or right. Number 7 and 9 for me to switch between previous and next active window, something similar to pressing Alt-Tab to switch windows. And right on the center, number 5 is my Windows Screenshot Command Shortcut. Number 1 and 3 is to switch between next and previous desktop. And number 2 and 8 is to zoom in and zoom out. So yes, this is my Windows Command Center keypad instead of a number pad. I don't need to use this number pad on my laptop desk on the right because my Logitech K780 already has the number pad. And due to its portability, I can easily position this number pad on the left of my Logitech K780 and use it like my Windows Command Center keypad to tile windows and switch desktop. This is my previous videos on the Microsoft Designer Compact Keyboard and Number Pad, where I show you more of how I use them. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you in the next video.